we are at Houston Police Department, headed back to the SWAT deck to go shoot some M4s with some of the SWAT guys. Don't really know what quite to expect, but it'll all be good. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, just finished up knocking out shoulders. Three weeks out from being a dad. Biggest contest of this guy's life. Yeah, two more weeks. Super typical shoulder session for us. Uh, always start rear delts, move on to some kind of side raise, uh, then some kind of press, and then um, you know half the time we'll go straight from the press into triceps, and then half the time we'll do some kind of you know like more metabolic work like bands or uh, you know just cables or something to just really flush it out full of blood and really finish it off. That's how his shoulders are down. He doesn't lift his shoulder curl at all. A lot of times he never does this, but clients lift their, their shoulders up and I have to like back yeah and I have to no I'm not so I actually lift your shoulder. Yeah that they always do that. Everything you do like scapula down and control. Great session today, felt great. Had a huge pump from that high day yesterday. Uh, no complaints, I felt good. Yeah, you? I feel really good today too. Yeah. Kind of more of a boring day, but you know, shoulders, it's really hard not to involve other muscles, so feeling a slow control is really the better way to get yeah. the muscles that you want to be using. Especially me and both of us, traps really overpower everything, so. Really doing a slow, controlled, yeah. it's the right way to do it for us. So, I mean, this is pretty much all of our exercises. Like, I guess this comes into play with all of our exercise selection for all of our body parts, but especially shoulders, uh, we found that, you know, like the more braced you are and the more stable and the less room for, you know, like either momentum or your body shifting or anything like that, the more you're able to isolate the delt. So, you know, like typically when you see people do side laterals, even when they're trying to do them super strict, they'll end up getting like that little hump out of the bottom or, They'll end up getting off track in the track with the dumbbells or something when they get tired. Doing them hanging like that, there's no way to cheat. The only thing you can do is move it with your shoulder. So and you give those a try, yeah. those are great. So it's both going to failure with 40 pounds. Yeah. And then we went real heavy with the presses. Yeah. So, and then a back offset where we repped it out. Got 20 reps with the back offset. So, so that was good too. It doesn't take a lot. I mean, you saw it today. We did two working sets on the rear delts. I'd say two working sets on the side laterals. Two real working sets, maybe three if you want to count four plates on seated. And that was it. So. Oh, 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 oh,
short workout but like it hurts to have my arms hanging here right now and I'll definitely be sore tomorrow so um, right now it's all about muscle preservation not building it you know we're 10 weeks out from the show the idea right now is to lose as much fat as possible while losing as small amount of muscle tissue as possible so we're on a good track to do that um, like he said we're both feeling good looking forward to getting after the next couple weeks um, I've only been dying for two weeks so yeah I'm doing so. fine and I'm eating more than I want to eat and like bitching to Andrew about how much he's making me eat. So I don't know if either of us are really dieting, but we're getting in shape for a show. That's what counts, right? <laughs> but uh, anyways, I got to run, um, catch up with y'all uh, in Dallas, actually. I'm going to make a trip up to see uh, Andrew in person. We'll see if Brian ends up making that. Like we said at the beginning of this episode, his baby's doing three weeks. So I don't know if it's a good idea for him to be leaving home. We'll see. But uh catch up with y'all up in Dallas and uh, see y'all then. Uh, be sure if you like this video, if you have any questions for us uh, that you want answered and a question and answer, we're going to do them probably in next week's episode. Be sure to leave them in the comments of this video. Um, I'll do my best to answer every single one of them as long as you aren't a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Just being blunt. So um, that's that. And then, like I said, if you like the videos, be sure to subscribe to Labrata's channel. Um, you'll get a notification every single time we drop one of these videos. We're doing our best to drop them once a week, either Friday or Saturday. So it's the cadence we're going for. But like I said, subscribe and you'll never miss one. And uh, yeah, chess, chess videos up. Yeah, chess and videos you'll up. You'll be watching it? this video when this is up too. But yep, check it out. See ya. We are at uh, Houston Police Department, headed back to uh, the SWAT deck to go shoot some M4s with some of the SWAT guys. So. Uh, Lee is friends with the uh, captain of the HPD SWAT team, and uh, through him, I met him and became friends with some of the guys. We've been going up there and like taking them like RTD and just kind of hanging out with them from time to time. So it's the first time I've made it out to the shooting range with them. So I'm super stoked about that. Don't really know what quite to expect, but it'll all be good. try to get realistic scenarios so that uh, you know it's something we can apply you know, kind of paid attention to the m4 that I saw when I toured y'all's facility and this right. one uh, the muzzle devices y'all run cans on any of those we don't do we that. don't it's something we're actually looking into um, for a number of reasons obviously just from the, uh, the the noise but also you know that sympathetic reflex you know somebody hears a gunshot mm. if their finger is on the trigger yeah yeah. You know, so it, it does reduce that. Um. Bucket list thing one day before I die. I definitely want to make it like one of those big machine gun shoots where everyone brings like a pallet of ammo. Right. Just be able to go nuts for longer than two minutes like this. <laughs> That's not bad. What was it? 15 yards? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I, I saw you start going for the headshot, so... Well, I just wanted to see where I was hitting from back there, yeah. so I did this when I was close. And yeah, you cleaned that one up. Moved up. So. Sent a couple, but yeah. yeah. This was... Do you have an idea, like, when he said how, like, it's not really real, real world application using weapon on full auto, so... That little hole right there is when we were shooting semi-automatic, and then... That and all of those happened when we started shooting fully automatic, so select fire, so much more accurate semi-automatic, obviously. But that's sweet. I really appreciate you having us Absolutely, out. Absolutely, man. man. We, we uh, enjoy having you, and 
Appreciate what you do. But Definitely. Um, I'll make it up. To, make it up to headquarters sooner than later. Bring some more RTDs sure. and actually catch a workout with you next yeah, time. That'd be nice. Yeah, no. Come up like there on like an arm day. Oh, yeah. Train some arms with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Every day's arm day, right? <laughs> <laughs>